Hi, everybody. <laughs> Not everybody. Everybody who um, works in light and love. The best of the best practitioners who reciprocate their very best equally on norm, on regular. Always, actually. Let's, let's just kind of third time's a charm kind of thing. And uh, today is my fourth day of work. Um, semi, semi-official. I was talking to somebody um, in the break room, and um, and I I said kind of official because they were it was like a hop, skip, and a jump type of thing, um, and uh, it felt like kind of like skipping rocks, you know, their decision with me. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm a freaking winner. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's what happened, and so I'm not really really official, but I'm semi-official. I don't know what that means, but it's okay because there's um, more stability within this offering. So it's okay. Um, and, and Spirit is just telling me it's always going to be all good from here on out. Even beforehand, that was like just preparatory. I, I, some people would call it a hazing, you know, um, uh, if they're having difficulty going through it amidst it. But um, it's just initiation <laughs> for this particular one i can say well worth it mm -hmm. because dude my intuitive abilities i i read people even before how do i say it i can read people without knowing them i just sometimes i forget about my power even with like all that i've read it's i just kind of i don't know i'm i'm still so I'm still people persons, um, I, I, you know, I, I'm still learning just because you're told something doesn't always mean like it's, uh, it's automatic within registry, you know, <laughs> sometimes, you know, like you're, you log it in there, you know, like nice to have, must have, whatever. But then when it actually goes down, I, I, I it's on the list. Um, so it's like, um, that sh those checkpoints of discovery. So I told that person that I was in discovery mode because they're like, Oh, so what do you like to do after work? <laughs> it was like the most proper entertaining discussion that I've had in a long while. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, Mm, and uh yeah so angels of light and love i welcome you into your direction protect these messages my chakras my auras my space and that of our children's thanks so very much i forgot to drink some water that i got Okay. There's so many intentions that you can, like, so much positivity that you can infuse into your water. Just a reminder. Look, I'm the, I'm an Avon lady. <laughs> Vintage, anyway. I like it. I like the, um, I don't know. It looks so vintage. <clears throat> anyway. Here we are again with the Shaman Tarot. It, it's so trippy when I realize um, that I'm meeting people that I've read for. Like, even just, like, customers. Seriously, it is insane to me if it's just, like, to me, it's just kind of like a passerby. Um, but it's, it's just strange to me. Like, months prior to even knowing who they are. Like, I don't know people by like the names or whatever. Okay, so this is Knight of Cups in Reverse. Why did I get the Knight of Cups in Reverse? Are these secret admirers, like, really undercover? Or is this, like, they ain't no love. They ain't no chivalry. This... <clears throat> what is it? What does it mean? Or is it just me, like, saving the day, finding my own happiness, finding the romance in my in my day-to-day? -day? Oh, yeah, beat of your own drum. Okay, page of um, pentacles, yeah. 
so it's being invested in that, but, um, cause it cut like the deck in half and now I don't even understand. So these two, okay. So this is, oh yeah. Focusing on that drum and oh my gosh, two aces. They did not want to go in. You saw it. I was, I was trying to force it in. Um, oh my gosh. You know what this is? This is the cookie and the milk cup. Dip, dip, dip. Mm -hmm. Master number 11 here, ladies and gentlemen, and all sentience above and in between. Thanks so very much. This is lovely. This is so lovely. You know what this is? We can embed this picture into this picture. So it's not just like a cookie and cup, like a chocolate chip cookie in the milk cup or Oreo, whatever you're thinking is. Um, but that truly is the gem. So it's being replenished. Our drum is, my drum is being replenished and cleansed. Somebody's trying to beat on my drum. I'm telling you, somebody wants to bang on a gong and they're tr so I'm being cleansed. That's, that's, that's a secret message right there. You see, like you see that? Yeah. For reals, for reals. Um, this is also is collective love for the drum. Um, what do I want to say about this? This is crazy. Okay, I'll put those two together. So this is um, undercover love. And you know what, what I was also getting out of this um, was that, you know, there's like a leap of, of the dolphin. We saw yesterday's was like the um, the wh humpback whale, right? Um, massive happiness. But here, it's um, it's a dolphin. Okay, it's there. Don't underestimate them. Um, <clears throat> so they can still do this, of course, under underwater, right? So it's like, mm, um, it's it's still pretty much the same. It just within the intuitive bodies. So um, not everybody has to know, but it's. It's like automatic cherry on top, strawberry on top, sprinkles on top, whatever that topping is that makes it the best is um, succeeded in that at least I know that I am loved. That you know freaking how sweet that is. Do you know how sweet that is? And looking at that, when I laid it down, you see the connection point of one to the other? Freaking amazing. Do you see that? It's jumping from one to the other. So, like, they're saying I am absolutely freaking accurate when it comes to um, my readings. I love it. I mean, like, sometimes I worry about, because the Virgo in me is like, um, can you tell them what their mother used to say to them at age nine through nine, like, <clears throat> right before they turned 10 and what color shoes they were wearing when this happened. Like, um, sometimes I worry about those int little intricacies, but like, I know that stuff like other people can access and I could learn those things too. Or, or when the time comes, um, I am, I'm already accessing those points through other, um, connection points. Like the way I channel is, um, picking up clues and hints from other locations and I don't need to know the comprehensive view like within my my present immediacy like I, I don't need to have that within my full-on presence right now um my guys like whoa, the network is so amazing it's ten fifty nine p.m but um the network is so amazing in the way um the checks and balances like everybody shows up to the table with like just like the best it's so crazy it's good so anyway there you are now i don't have to worry about a thing um so it's, it's just kind of like trippy because again today i or just like this week um there were many times that i i don't know if pretending is the word but i behaved in a way that made it seem as though I was living a regular life and I know I'm not living a regular life. I know I'm not, but sometimes I just kind of like, like to feel like that. I want, sometimes I like to feel, um, like everything's going to be okay.
I know it is, but I'm used to um, a sense of familiarity. And so the more things seem like normal, but also ideal, it just feel, it feels so like staged. It feels inaccurate to like it, it it feels like you know how um Wanda um in I think she's a Marvel character or something like that um but she's um the Scarlet Witch right before she turns like you know the Scarlet Witch or it's like you know um Dark Phoenix and um Jean Grey so um Wanda um if I'm getting that correct um can make up realities like just manifest it instantaneously and so it's just whatever her mind creates and so I I kind of feel like that um but th there's propositions there's um prepositions and propositions that's what it is um that th what I can do others are hinging upon when I say prepositions like and um you know just grammatically speaking um they're using that context and hinging on my powers in a way that they're suggesting certain realities um for them to manifest so that that's where i feel like this is a huge exam right now in my life um and it, it's it's not just a feeling it it's it is <laughs> And I'm not supposed to play dumb either. That's that's not that's not what that this is right now. Um, it's very highly it's 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 for the like clearly adept. Um, there are many composers within this um, exam, um, and. Um, uh, understudies as well is what I'm hearing um that are active you know shadowing on stage um so that's something to keep in mind if to my my absolute divine crew you know um even for those like different walks of life of what is what I'm hearing like things that you know people who like don't think that they are kind of in link with me because they've done bad things in the past they've you know um and so they're saying you know it's also true for them especially if they're intermingled into my life um that the same is true within those energies to watch out for them okay um to not to be paranoid but to be um fully aware you know being present is isn't just the overhype of like meditation and being in in the power of the now and um finding that calm and you know that you know that that's not a hundred percent the importance of presence presence is also um finding that clarity to um understand like what kind of noise there is out there and how it um subtly attempts to manipulate our um mm, our own power okay I told to open that up yeah who will see is the magician in reverse it's undercover manipulation the magician in reverse within this context and generally speaking are freaking manipulators they're they're people who use their power for like bad like bad is a it's like separate context i mean like you know it's selfish um it's self-interested absolutely in its context okay so i'm just told to um split it behind it like what's behind like what are they backpacking yeah ace of swords in reverse so they have the capabilities of absolute like they, they're they highly intelligent okay but um they don't they're not m maximizing on the opportunities in in its better use so um 
and that's what they're backpacking. Um, a lot of things in their past have not been placed into perfect content, context um, that are not as digestible, so it's still like a, a knife in their back, and it's like a hard to reach like itch spot. So. Um, they don't really realize what's affecting them that it's not just puppetry like strings attached um, but it's that sword you know so um, that's something that they have to realize on their own um, what that particularly is and even and I'm hearing it's like the sword and the stone like the the more you try to reach for it like you can't do it all in one loop because you're gonna tear something like something's gonna hurt but the constant like stretch like figuring out like monkey mind um in in like how to peel a banana or whatever like using certain tools in order to extract that and um that's the challenge of the person that is um wounded um um that's what i'm hearing yeah i got the chills and um so that that make that proves them to be very worthy of removing that and finding the wisdom like coming like full circle within um it's like an aptitude test is what i'm hearing um mm -hmm. yeah so um you know for people who say that they're bad at taking tests or like you know they get it must be their nerves or whatever yeah likely it is their nerves given this um you know, descript this, um, this context. Um, and I'm supposed to get one from the forward part of wherever, like this, a magician was somewhere like in the middle. So, so I have to get what's in front of them. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven of wands. So they feel like surrounded by, um, mm, oh, I got another one here. Um, Knight of pentacles. So you have to, it's a, it's a gradual process in, um, understanding what surrounds you. Okay. And, um, the illusion of, um, of, of threats. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So that's what's in front of them. Okay. Cause even if, um, they take, even as they remove that, um, last blade, find the truth they also find like the weaponry to um battle out what's around them so that's that's so interesting isn't that lovely i love that reading <laughs> it's still going though <laughs> okay it's 1108 p.m so okay what else do you want to say spirit okay this is lovely mm -hmm. okay so um <sighs> okay for what's happening right now like I don't want to feel lost or threatened or, um, cause I feel like where I am, I'm supposed to be doing, I'm doing my job. Okay. Not just like the clock in clock out job. Um, but also um, the job for spirit. So, um, but it's done in a way with a gentle hand. So it's not to, um, um, <clears throat> disturb collective peace that everyone digests it within their own capacity. Um, of understanding and so um i think where i am is very purposeful and i could consider it um um like somewhat of a somewhat of a home um but you know like homes can also be used as halfway houses you know what i mean um and that's a very slang term for just saying that um uh, it's a place where people come and go and that's all that it's meant for. N not a hundred percent manifesting this. I'm saying that, um, it's for the reason that there, um, is, um, a lot of internal disturbance going on. And, um, because of the transactions that are made. Um, so dude, why am I reading it like this? But, um, they said to say it like that. I don't know. Um, so that's just something to beware of, you know? Um, so like not to nestle up, like to, um, assimilate or, or to, um, make one home, one home, um, equivalent to another. So, um, I just know that it's a grouping that I, find a sense of belonging in and I'm just happy that um there's a bilateral reach in an, a way that 
like I don't know I I don't feel I don't feel threatened um but I at the same time I can't say I f feel a hundred percent safe I feel safe but I don't I don't know I just feel you know how weird this is okay I don't feel a hundred percent safe but I do feel protected you know what I mean like in a way I don't even know how that makes sense but it does <laughs> like I can't just completely let my guard down okay let's say it like that um um but I know I'm protected in many realms including where I'm at um and I don't know if it's for good reason or bad reason, but like I'm not to get, to get swept up in the abyss of like the rationale of it all. I just know I'm meant exactly where I'm supposed to be. So it's just lovely. It's lovely because it's better off than where I used to be, where it was just absolute energy siphoning. And um, here, um, I don't know. What do you want to say about here, spirit? Like um, my my current situation. Hmm. Goddess Kali, what do you want to say? Okay. <laughs> Kali wants to say shit. Oh, it's the sun. And then the knight of swords in reverse. Do you know how lovely that is? That means the eagle isn't just flying. It has landed. Okay. So this is um, focused energy, not moving in haste. Okay. Um this is um determination is already like in play so or was in play um and it's still going on it's still ongoing that's what i'm hearing <clears throat> correction um so now the eagle has landed and like on the sun yeah i bring happiness i bring life oh my god there's a freaking eagle right there what the heck? I told you it's still going. Ongoing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but this is lovely. People are happier than I'm around. I told you I'm a, um, I'm a lucky one. <laughs> and they're lucky too. So, um, this is excellent. Do you have any idea? That's freaking excellent. Thank you, Kali. So, um, Kali knows all about the fire. And then the fire that ignites in all of us. We're not just talking about the MO. We're not just talking about the physical body of like what they want to represent, what they want to manifest. We're talking about the spirit. We're talking about the ongoing life form, the light body that continues on, regardless of whether or not someone sold their soul. We're talking about that um, dynamism within. Mm -hmm. So, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's letting it go. It's letting it all, like, it's letting loose. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, like, not being so rigid within our own atmospheres. Because, like, if you relate to people, you relate to people. Mm -hmm. And they relate to you. You know how effective you are when you relate to people, when they relate to you, when they actively relate to you when they actively when they take the effort make the effort to interact with you do you know how wonderful that is it could be just one person but seriously uh, it goes beyond the verbal <laughs> insanity okay thank you Kali top of the deck okay um 11 all oh, freaking justice if, if we could find a Kali card in here, that would be her. Freaking warrior. A little scary. Pretty sexy. Pretty cool to be around. The vult She's hanging out with the vultures. Come on. It's the death card hidden in here. But also the tower in which she sits. That's her throne. That's crazy. Um, definitely. And I've been carrying a U branch with me for quite some time now. And that, that's, that tree also is very highly representative of that. Insane, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Kali. I told you she's my girl. Or I'm her girl. Whatever. <laughs> um, that's so lovely. Justice. The scales are balancing. 
justice. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Colleen. Okay, now we're going to move over to Lakshmi, okay? She wanted to be seen in the other readings, so Lakshmi, what do you want to say about where I'm at, like my environment, like what, like, okay, this is four of cups in reverse. This is wonderful because we're foregoing like, you know, just like the blah of the old world, you know, the jadedness. What do they say? Avarice? Is that, is that what that is? Um, four of cups. Look it up in reverse. Okay. It's like, just like the mundane, like just yuck of the world. Like, nah, I'm so tired of this. Ugh. so it's also obviously boredom it's not just um distaste like i don't want to play with that i don't want to do that anymore no like it's like, it's just like it doesn't have that that kick anymore you know what is that song um ain't that a kick what is that is that frank sinatra ain't that a kick in the head yeah uh-huh uh-huh so okay um all right so um, I'm hearing, oh my gosh, I'm getting all of these songs. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, let me write it down, let me write it down, let me write it down, okay. Okay, three songs already. Holy smackerels! All in one bushel. Okay, so, um, four of cups in reverse. It's like letting go of the, the three cups that are just like the fallen, like, I'm glad that, like, with the tower moment that happened, that those have fallen, like, um, and I'll take spirits, that spirits cup off to the side. I'll, I'll take that offering right there, um, I'll take that one. Okay. Um, because we could just like sit pretty neutral and just be like, man, I don't, I don't want to take any more chances. And I've already been there and done that. I'll just sit right here. So it's like sitting in your own juices too, like depending on how long you're in this. So here, four of cups in reverse. We're saying, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try that. I've been sitting here long enough. I was thinking what I, I'll, um, like what's on the horizon is also composed of that. Let me just kind of, even if it serves as a distraction, I'm just a little curious. Let's just, let's just see, let's see spirit. Okay. So, um, this is kind of like having an outer body experience, right? So this is like, um, a healing, a cleansing, trying to generate the, um, call upon the ancestors, um, to see what they can do with this, um, this, um, lifeless body. Um, that's almost like dissipating. Um, <clears throat> so, um, it's also up to not just the spirits, not just our ancestors to make it all happen and this healer, but also this person's willingness to succeed. And so, um, like, how do I say it? The, the life, the light within this person has like kind of deceased. Um, so this is the fourth cup. So, um, it's, or something of that sort, but like, anyway, it's in reverse. I'm trying to explain it in, in, um, a more comprehensive way, not just the Rider Waite Smith version, um, but also due to this imagery. So it's not all up to others, but we have to, it has to be like the will to succeed, will to do it, like to get up and like fight this. Um, so taking that fourth cup, beautiful, beautiful. Lakshmi is like, Lakshmi is, um, about, oh, she's, about many things, okay? So, um, from my memory, fertility, love, and war, um, I just very comprehensive view. So, look at her, um, within this meaning. So, um, this is lovely. This is very lovely. Um, because it's very close to, like, the imagery right here is what I'm seeing. You see how it drifts the ancestry? within the um knight of cups so finding the love in that okay i'm hearing where is the love okay give me a second have to write this out 
it's the Black Eyed Peas. Okay. I love it. Okay. Anything else, Lakshmi? Or you just got that single car? Oh, oh my gosh. No. Lakshmi, you're crazy. Okay, so Queen of Swords in, um, and the um, High Priestess in reverse. So, in pocket. Like, she's like putting something in a rag pocket. We've got the High Priestess. For reals. I mean, this is somebody who's like very sexy, sultry, etc. within the darkness, um, the presentation of it. But like, you know, even so much as people looking at her back, um, you know, the high priest is coming at too, is like people know that even with her back turned, she has like, she can see from be like from behind. So she can see um, even with her head turned um, because she's the high priestess. Lakshmi is telling me, like, you got it. Okay. Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, that's ultimate knowledge. Accessibility, like, that's insane that they've never seen before. I know things about people that I shouldn't be knowing. <laughs> even organizations, even of, even their activities. I, I know things that, or I've come to know things that, or I will come to know about things. Like, it's, it's all of the above, really, and the below. Mm -hmm. So, um... I have access to all of that. But the weird thing about it is that these, these people, like, even so much as though that that would per be perceived as a normal threat, they don't really see that within me because I don't really, I don't, I don't, it's not that I just don't come off that way, but, I, like, they know, like, the spirit within me. Like, I'm just trying to figure stuff out, um, my own stuff out. Like, I have my own stuff going on and everybody has their own stuff going on, like, I'm not going to micromanage this thing, okay? This movement, I'm not going to micromanage. Everybody has a part in it. And um, it, it's just beautiful to see that I have that accessibility for um, those who um, are less likely to be reached, to be reached. And they like that. They, they appreciate, like, honestly, I feel like they appreciate that, like, the phone is freaking ringing for them, too. You know, because if you live that life, you understand the normality of that lifestyle where it's just like there's so many assumptions um, that make the life boring because everything is predictable within it's like the dynamism is violence within that, you know, and it's like, where's the refresher? Where's like, is everything going to be a breaking point or is it, when am I finally going to catch a break, you know? So um, this like new realm of discovery and understanding is just like it's beautiful freaking like dude this pairing is is insane the depths of the high priestess <laughs> my head is like in feeling so weird right now it's insane so lakshmi okay what else have you got here i'll read it okay um Oh, it's the Queen of Pentacles. Fell on my left foot. It's this Beth. Beth. Some of you might your ma your name might be Beth or Elizabeth or Liz or Liza or something. Some variation of that. Anyway, <clears throat> you have a mama bear feels. Okay, we do. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is, yeah, definitely the best mother of all queens. To take care, like to have the mama bear appeal and like dual part of that without being a threat lions tigers and bears oh my for real so they we've i've got that kind of receptivity and being able to tune into um that realm of like being a family person okay what felt on my toes turned down was the eight of pentacles Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Do you know, oh my gosh, do you know how freaking beautiful this is? In the workplace, if I work with you at this time and you are watching this, like, even in the future, whatever, like, this is, this is a multitude, especially in the presence. This is a multitude of blessings. It's working at this, like, together, um, different walks of life, um, but, like, it's getting it together, mm -hmm. working at it, like def redefining our mastery together 
freaking together. Lakshmi is giving us that. You know what this trio is? It's massive because three is in the middle. This is about the workplace. This is about building. This is about co-creation. It's, um, um, oh gosh, there's multiplying here. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay. We have 638. So 638 is an angel number here. Let me write it down because I don't know what that means until I actually look it up. <sighs> 638. Eight. And then the hidden number in here also is one, two, three, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. You also might be coming from a three, one, two area code. I think that's LA. I don't know because like the bodies in here are three, then there's one and then there's two. Okay. So let's write that down. Interesting, huh? Okay. <clears throat> So, it's about um, co-creation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, so, this, like, all accentuated along with the Six of Pentacles, that's a give and take. That's a balance. That's like everybody has more than enough. So, what do we do? We interchange. We, um, this is, what do you call it? Um, uh, the, um it's like it's interdependent but it's um you know like the finest um people within like their um craft they they cross-functional teams that's what that is um like they interchange duties i, f I forget the like 100 percent what the definition is but this i'm getting the vibe of cross-functional teams here because everybody has more than enough and so they give and so when that happens there's like a rotation of duties and it um again a redefinition of our mastery freaking cool freaking cool all right what came through here also the page of cups bringing in the love like when you bring that to the table that surely equates to love okay so then the others that came through are the eight of wands need no more to say tina don't need to say anything else. That's gems in itself. You see? You're rocking it. You see? All those reds here and then intermeshed here. This is um um our galactic families. Our star families that are very much invested undercover. You cannot see them, but they're working it for us. They're helping us work, do the workarounds. Okay? That we're just like kind of not 100% understanding right now. So we have the king of cups here. That's spirit and cash, but it's also Jesus Christ energy. Undercover. Just like the, the sentience of above and beyond. Mm -hmm. And oh my freaking gosh, a spirit right there. Do you know how much is backing this? Insane. That's my board of directors. Those are my board of directors. And I get to be seated there too. So, rest assured, we're okay. So we have the page of um, swords here. Yeah, that's me. Well, within this board, like th that's where I like that's my um seating right there. Um, like hawk right there. Huh. Um, and then the says, "Yeah, do you know how powerful this combination is?" Freaking locks me. I'm so sorry that I I flipped a bitch, um, before reading this because like there were so many cards that sprued out. But like, how I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, proved me wrong. Um, but this combination here with the Hierophant here, the High Priest, this is a teacher, this is a mentor, this is like the local legal person, you know, the um, one who conducts marriage. The one that um, is a clergyman that like is correct, that comes correct, all of this. So, this is, this is insane. I'm at a loss for words. Just kidding. Not. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you. This is seated. Me being seated at the table is seating a bunch of uh, good stuff here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, bottom of that is the Lover's Card in Reverse. There is a lot of love that's buried underneath. Um, I'm getting Jesse Reyes. Love in the Dark. Mm-hmm. 
and that like I don't have enough space to like run it through over here but where it lays is is going to be on the queen of um so sorry about that um um goddess Kali but um I had to fan it out like because there's only so much space I have here so doing that I'm also um showing that um like if I want to lay out these two cards that this is going to lay over the high priestess in reverse and the qu queen of swords freaking crazy huh love in the dark freaking crazy I'm tempted I want to look at the bottom of that yeah most definitely you know the beautiful thing about this is within the curiosities that there are still men that are down you know that um there are some people that are lost in the war some good ones definitely um those that we've lost in battle but um, the, the, the wonderful thing about this is that there's a deliverance in that. You see the hawk in there um, lifting up the energies like save, saving. Um, yeah. It's like rescuing on a different level. So um, coming to know that with um, me being on the board, there's the hawk again right there. Um, being so close. Like, so there's Jesus, spirit me you know and um training to like i have other mentors too also becoming one there's a little fly over here like trying to um but anyway um yeah so like not to fear or worry about um what we may see within that um um yeah okay um last thoughts um gonna cut the deck and then get yeah just gonna cut the deck two of cups in reverse mm. i don't think this is a disharmony i think this is more like again the saving of this you know um that energy healing um that the the redemption part of it within the act of disharmonies is um the lift off like the saving of the spirit that even for those that have sold their soul um within whatever capacity that there are still workarounds and like th that I can facilitate that me and my team can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the parrot is like, so the parrot would repeat that as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's duplicate energy. Like, there's an echo of resonance within the light body, the spirit, the origination point. That um, there is still ownership. Like, there's something about the resonance that is still retracted and retrieved that I'm able to, me and, me and my team are able to capture that in order to facilitate this happening. Okay, yeah, that's what they're saying. That's trippy <laughs> and cool. I like it. Okay, so now it is the Bananagrams time. And you know what? I am going to get, um, um, Goddess Kali, um, in more visible state. So let me just grab these cards so I can lay them out here instead. Okay, let Goddess Kali breathe. I like this. This is so beautiful. You have like no freaking clue, no freaking clue, no freaking clue. It's insane. This like this this is this is insane. How do I do this? <laughs> okay, I'll put I'll kind of like piece it together. Okay. 
That's beautiful. I like it. It's good to me. All right, what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay. It fell on the Six of um, Pentacles. It's L. It fell on the base of the person. So L right there. Um, then we also have I, I, B, A, O, T, I, N, A, U, M, E, T, L, A, A, O, R, A, W. Okay. We have five A's, three I's, two L's, two T's. Interesting. Okay. And more stuff here. We have balm, like um, lip balm, like a, a salve, <laughs> um, thyme. Tina, Tune, Rialto again. I don't even know where Rialto is, dude. Um, Balton, B A L T A N. Huh. Okay. Um. Amore, Mar, Maru, I don't, I don't know what that is. Manly, M A N L I. I don't know why it's spelled like that, but okay, it's somebody's last name. I don't know. Um, okay, any names here? Neo, Nell, Eli, Trina, Nora, Mila, Milo, Allie. I usually don't have alleys here, but we, today we do. Um, um, bow. Blame. Ebola. <laughs> okay. People are like, seriously. Um... Uh, I'm just going to read out what I have here, okay? Um, labia. Bowl. Um, LOA, or Law of Attraction, or Law of Assumption. A wall. Somebody is absent without leave. Who's that? Who's that over there? <laughs> um, okay. Um, Neil, um, Ben, um, Arnie. Aaron, um, Letty, um, Little, Leo, Leon, um, somebody has a Lambo, a Lamborghini, I don't know, somebody does, um, Um, Lonnie, Leanne, all right, Lainey, um, 
Um, Bart. Um, Barney. Um, there's other names in here. I don't know why it's not. Marie. Maria. Maddie. Mm. Will, Willie, I see warmer, huh. okay, no, I only see warm because I only have um, when are, hmm, I also have worn, like W-O-R-N, but also W-A-R-N, like there's a warning, um, but warm is like we're getting closer, I think it's like some people don't like the feeling of being hot, right? Um, being in that um, atmosphere. So warm is just cozy for them. Um, any other names that we're supposed to be saying here? Um, tilt. Um, Betty, hmm. And no, I feel like I'm supposed to put Lambo because before this reading, like just, um, I don't know, a few hours ago, um, I had purple Lamborghinis. So I feel like Lambo is important. Um, so like a racy car, purple. I would say that like definitely my intuitive abilities have been like crazy, like on point like purple Lamborghini for reals. And there's some hidden messaging in there in that actual song and video. So I just have to like refresh on that. So, um, Minolta. Uh, I also see Minoli. That's someone's last name. It's very rare to have that. Bantu? Is that like some kind of a tribe? I don't know. Um, built. Yeah. I really feel like that. B-U-I-L-T. Oh, <laughs> they're saying, um, she's might to might to just let in. <laughs> she's a brick house. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Lambo. Okay. Um, so we have a bunch of vowels left. Holy smackerel, so what are we going to do with that? Um, I don't know yet. Um, note. A tone. Yeah, I have a tone here. Hmm. Mm. A tone, is that like finding forgiveness or like being redeemed? Um, something about forgiveness. Being forgiven, I think that's what it is. Oh, you know what I'm getting in my head? Um, the Unforgiven is Metallica. Mm -hmm. um, some people feel like they have no choices left. 
Here it says, eh, wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, here we go. What else here? Um, there's something here. Something about a dotted line. That's prof, dotted lines. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to get so sick of me tagging. But I, I'm sorry. It's just, no, I'm not going to say sorry. I have to do this. <laughs> um, so let me see here. Some of you are from Tennessee or feel like extraterrestrials out there. Like just not. Um, T. presence it's where we're at right now so we're either at since there's two places i'm told to put it like we're at a warm spot um if not like some some people feel like they've pissed in their pants really like it's just like they're in that frame of like context okay um but then like because that can mean many many things okay um or within atonement but let me go ahead and show you what it looks like here Okay. Oh, shoot. Oops. So, goodness, what the heck is going on? So, right there. Oh, wait. You see? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, at would be right there, or at right there. So, and then when I said about the dotted line, okay, writing that, it's helping, like, build um that kind of context, right? Um... Yeah, I'm I'm also getting like Freemasonry also here because you see, you know, like there's um what do you call it? Something about like there's something about the I don't know, it looks like that to me. I don't know, I don't know. But like dotted line, like each having like a pause in creating that dotted line with the context, the terms. Um, so this is what we got here. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. A, a tone looks like um, it should be with two T's, but I don't. I think the last time I spelled it, it was it was not like that. So, anyway, um, let me put this over here. I'll put you, I'll find you. I'll get you. Okay. We did wonderful today, and it is still before midnight. Thanks so very much for um, joining me. And um, I'm going to thank your spirit guides of the highest wisdom for the highest good. Thanks so very much. You did an excellent, excellent job. Bravo to you. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'd like to go ahead and thank my sponsors, my supporters, and every which way that you do that in light and love. It's beautiful work. It's beautiful, beautiful. Um, and um, if you like what I do. You know how to continue that. There are ways, many, many ways. Um, other than that, um, now that this reading is officially over, I'm gonna go ahead and close all portals, thanking all, thanking our star families of love and light, Lakshmi, Kali, freaking awesome. So, um, Jesus Christ, spirit, angels of light and love. Who else? Who else? Suppliers of the cookies, the bestest cookies. Um, I think that's it for now. Yeah, so now that this reading is officially over, I'm closing out all portals, sending all energies back with their appropriate karmas to helping initiate that force, that frequency, that initiation of, um, roll out mm -hmm. thanking you for your respect for my time my space and my energy my work my all etc etc and all the obvious and then some sending you back all in light and love i close all portals now